Okay, so um, our roof, one thing you notice, we have a nice kind of bending right here on the roof, but this line is totally straight. So we could done this before by going inside and um, slice and add maybe, okay, just, let's go put it right here, lines. So just add a few more lines to this. Okay, applied and after take this roof and kind of bending down okay and also we can do this um so let me ungroup control shift g it's to ungroup them and what i'm going to do is uh, just in case slice it here as well in the same um places approximately Okay, we'll go select that one and slice here. So we can do this. We can still do um, kind of adjusting afterwards. So right here. Okay, so next what I'm going to do is select um, three of them. I'm going to um, select edges tool. I'll select one and we'll press L. Next, we'll select this one and just right here on the end, and we'll press L so it's a loop all of them. Also, enable soft selection. At this point, we can just increasing, and if you want to bend, we can do this way as well. In some cases, it's kind of nice because you notice we don't uh, kind of modifying our final points, but we can still go ahead and slightly. Um, adjusting our roof if you want it or add additional distortions to this roof as well so in that case there you go we applied some distortion to this roof okay so we can edge it and we can do same things to um, other side And I'm just looking if it's maybe a little bit too much of the distortion I applied. So what I want to do, I want to have it some, but not too much. Okay, so right here, yeah. And we can go same things. We'll go right here. We'll apply slice tool. So we can take okay. This one select Control Shift G again to ungrouped. Um, and we'll go just apply set points. Okay, press Enter after so it will validate. Um, our changes okay I'm selecting them okay and when I'm done press enter again to accept those changes okay so let's go now select my objects all three of them will select edge tools and I'm just selecting and again you press down shift and hold down shift when you're selecting so it's allowed you to have multiple selections L for the edge loop and we can go ahead and the same just slightly reposition this way and maybe just say adjust again the distortion you can do you can just apply it only to the um, option but one thing when you do this way right in the middle be sure you select both of them so you don't kind of affecting um, in a way, but with this distortion, you can just take one point or um, you can go ahead and how is it? just select one point on top and just slightly maybe pull out. Where So it's different type distortion to the roof you can apply. So right here we have it, um, our roof with kind of look not symmetrical different ways. Okay, right here we have it something to, um, and it's easy to fill up inside, 
we'll just go ahead create um cube okay and we can kind of um skew so let me go outside the couple things we can do with a cube we can remove all and just have it one surface right here the problem is i find out sometimes in view when we have it one sided material it may doesn't work very well so what instead i prefer to have it a very thin cube on that case we won't have a problem with materials placing so just one small tip for that okay and also um we'll just want to move this way and be sure we're placing all the way down like this okay let's go expand it okay right here and you notice because our roof is not all proportional we have it some stuff will be cutting off we want to avoid this so we'll just have it a little bit inside and it's okay if we have it little gaps we'll fix them Next, I want to expand. Okay, all the way. And we can actually just go right here. And so we have it right here, expand it. Okay. Take the side and just move it inside. Okay, here is a kind of closing for us. Um, we may have it some opening at this point right here, and it's how much you want to go on the details. Um, overall, what I want to say, if you look from far, and it's approximately this is distance we want to render. I don't know if we ever look under but if you feel conscious about this and you want be sure everything set properly you can just take a copy we have it before and uh, so it will apply kind of like a roof right here to the side and placing right around this area so in that case we have it following our roof and we have it kind of nice cover right going there okay. so we can just do this way okay, let me select and we'll just copy and placing around this area so right here we have it some support okay so next, what I want to do, it is have a closing for these um, openings. Okay, and we have a few things one we can do easy way, just create a triangles, um, slice them and be sure they fill out properly. Or we can go with uh, some logs and just try to readjust and reposition them. And you know what, let's... Um, we can um i was thinking if we can do with the logs we can actually look how we can angle them easier oh you know what let's do just close it with triangles for now and we'll use the logs in other place so we'll go ahead um the one thing easiest probably is be sure nothing is selected and we'll go to faces and we'll just select with the face okay, right here okay we can go ahead now select on our points and just bring those points To the right position ok 
okay when we're done with this um, go to surface and just add slightly thickness And then we have some edges, so I'm going to select edge tools for this and just hide inside. So this is one way to do it and um, again we'll just need to go push this back right here so we have it some tools. Okay right here we have it um, I think we need it to hide a little bit more. Unchecked sort selections. Okay, so here's a one way. We can create it and afterwards we can go inside and um, apply textures or we can slice and add additional bending. Okay, the other ways we can do it is um, go ahead, create a log. Oops, actually, it's in my cone right here. Okay, we'll go select it. Just close the ends. Okay, let's um, rotating. So I'm gonna just be sure we have it about the same size. Oops, control Z, so we'll go right here. Okay, be expanding. And at that point, you will notice right here we have it, our edges kind of start poking out. So what I want to do, I want to be sure the kind of um, right here touching on an end, but we'll select ends, push them inside till it's covered right here. Next, what I'm doing, I press Control and I'm dragging till my other end is there. And next, I'm rotating and readjusting. So what has happened, I have a flat end on this and it doesn't stick out of there from the roof. So just um, in a way, kind of, we was doing a re repositioning this. So again, we'll go all the way here. Okay, next I press control, I drag out till my end matching, matching that end. And again, I'm just rotating right here and just positioning. So it will be kind of outside. And we still have it right here, the ends. Okay, we can readjust slightly, but it's Overall, it won't be even visible. So and next, we'll just go ahead, duplicate this one. And again, um, squeeze a little bit more. Go up again. In this case, if we start having problem right here, you can notice because the roof shape is changed, not standard. So we can go over again and just modify it. Um, just the tops what we have it at this point so let's go ahead and select that one position here now okay so you can see I can readjust um, kind of a little bit easier to readjust the roof that way. Okay, let me take 
this one and more in. There you go. Right here, I have a thing, maybe move it. Okay, so this is another way to um, creating kind of top of the roof with uh, our logs. So let me do copy. Okay, these three ones, okay, control G, I'm grouping them and I'm just copying and put them on this side. here okay and we have it slightly different so we want um, expand this one roof maybe move it right here and readjusting So a couple things right here. This is look a little bit ugly, those edges, but mostly um, I don't really kind of worry about this. What I want to do, I want to create a line going all the way right here. The support is what happened in other normal houses. Okay, let me there you go. Okay, and to do this, I'm just going to select um, line tool. And I don't want edge loop, so I will just select one straight line we'll go to lines and I'm going to extract this line so we have it this is will be one edge and again I'm going to surfaces and I'm going to add a thickness to this line okay and we'll go to validate and we'll go to same for text and close it our openings In this point, we can go and just control Z. What I want to do, I want to just place it right here on the edge. Just kind of matching our roof when it's going this way. Um, right this end so let's do this way let's go take and um, just shrink down to about this area okay and we go ahead and we're going to do same things for this side and on the other side We'll go select, and again we can. How I say it's just um, select this one. Go to lines, extract our line. Okay, we go to the surfaces. Okay, it's remember our thickness, so it's kind of nice. We validate, and we'll go to vertex and close it openings we have right here on the ends okay next we'll go to move okay and just down okay again this is up to um, your imagination how you want to place it or if you want maybe on the end if you want to have a sharp ends here or if you want to um, just do same things or maybe even bend it whatever up to your imaginations whatever it will be going with yours okay so right here we can see we have a kind of interesting nice closing on this point um, let's same fixing right in these areas 
Okay, I'll zoom in maybe just slightly this way. Okay. And I'm going to do same for this side. The reason is why, because we have a different type of angles and different type of the um, kind of shape right here. So we need to do individually for every side. Um, I'm going to um, stop this part of the tutorial. So I will finish this one and I will add to the um, right here to the side and we'll continue after this in our next part.